In this video, we take a look at the concept of automation. OK, so in essence, at the very heart of computer science, what we have is the idea of building abstract models of what we think of as real-world messy problems. In the real world, we have scenarios that have an almost infinite number of variables feeding into them. When we design a problem to model that, we have to think what details are important for us to get an accurate representation and understanding of this problem. Which variables are not important? A great example is modelling the weather. There is an almost an infinite number of variables that feed in to affect weather and climate. There is no possible way, even with today's computing power, that we can model and track every single tiny nuance and variable which affects weather and climate. Although our models have become much more sophisticated and much more accurate as computing power has increased, we still have to make decisions about which variables are important to replicate and which can be abstracted out and ignored. This is the same when we're creating any computer science problem. We take the physical world scenario or problem and we analyse it in detail. We build out of this an abstracted model, having decided what's important to replicate this system and what isn't important. Once done, we write and create detailed algorithms based on this abstracted model. Once we've done that, we implement the algorithm in code and data structures. And finally, we execute this code. So what do we mean by automation? Well, once we've removed the details that aren't needed, focused on what's important, written a program based on the abstract model, we can then run this model and learn something new. And this is the really exciting bit about computer science. It's made easy to understand by this diagram. So we've got the idea here of the physical world scenario or problem, and then we create an abstraction and have a mathematical model. Once we have that and we run it, we're effectively entering the stages of automation. These models can be run on computers. These simulations can be increased in time. They can analyze our data much faster than we would as humans. And through abstraction, and through automation, we end up discovering trends, patterns and information we never would have seen before that feed back into our knowledge of how we can affect and interact with the real world systems and scenarios. Science and medicines are great examples. With the advent of computer science, we have managed to create very complex mathematical, mathematical models of current scientific and medical scenarios. Having done that, we've then been able to run thousands and thousands of simulations, analyse vast amounts of data. This entire process is modelled and sped up far quicker than we previously could have analysed this information on our own. Out of this have come new discoveries, which have led to improvements in medicine. This information goes back into the real world scenario, thus giving us more data to improve our models and that's allowing us to make more discoveries. This is the essence of abstraction and automation.